<laughs> oh, this is oh, good. Me. That's how you ended up in that situation when that dog was licking you. Yeah, <laughs> no, but that. to be to be fair, I was asleep when the dog came in the room. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? like, and it was like you know them little Chihuahua dogs. It's like one of them little dogs, so oh, it wasn't really like okay. I could see it coming. Not a big old dog like that. <laughs> Just to let you all know, we're live, we're live, we're live. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so. Oh, hey, change watches the video. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is this is messed up. Yeah, it's, it's a, I, I don't. There's so many questions I have for this. We need to talk about this video because there's so many questions I've got for this. Oh, not that any of you are going to be able to. <laughs> No, 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 that's messed up. <laughs> well, yeah, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to Dare Dugout. It's all mad in the dugout. Uh, yeah, so uh, HH was watching the video that uh, Devo had sent to us in the chat, and I said, you know what? This needs to be spoken about because the, as you watch the video, it just gets it just gets worse as it goes on, <laughs> and it is it's. I don't know, man. It's rank. <laughs> That's the only word I can say right now. It's, it's, it's mad. So, yeah, today we're joined. I'm joined with Yannicka and Devo, the um, residents of the show. And today we've got HH. He's appeared. He's appeared. He's appeared. He's appeared. Uh, so, yeah, tell us what's, what's going on, guys. How's it, how's it been today? Cold. <laughs> Cold. Did you leave the house? <laughs> no, 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 yeah, that's why I tried to then and then run, run back in. You're not supposed to leave the house, bro. I had to go post off today. It is actually cold down there. Oh, no, no, I had to, to get some supplies, some food, and everything. And the guys basically, because you know, there are only like two people allowed in the post office. So there's like a massive queue of people. Yeah, mm hmm. It happened to be today. I, the post I, office. The post like, no, I don't think I've left my house since Boxing Day. Damn. I've been chilling in the yard. Wait, 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 so how, how long is this tier four thing supposed to last for then? Is there, is you might be going to tier five. I'm here in tier five. Yeah, you might be going to tier five. So okay, so what's tier tier five? Like you can't leave your kitchen or something? No, or? <laughs> no idea. Any sense something about like an 8 p.m. curfew or something? I don't know. Jesus I don't understand Christ. these curfews. It's like if you, you sh either you're allowed at your house or you're not. Do you know what I mean? Like if you're allowed out after eight, you're definitely going to get COVID. But if you get home by 7.55, uh, you're calm. It don't make no sense. Have you allowed at your house or you're not? Stay in your yard just, or go out. That's it. But, but, but you know, there's still people out there who are saying, say, now this stuff is like, oh, it's a conspiracy. The government are just trying to do this because they don't really care about all that kind of stuff. Because remember, like, because I think, wasn't it tier four, like, it, back in the summer? And the guys were just going crazy. And then, like, Traf in Trafalgar Square just had all these masses of people in Trafalgar Square who were like, oh, my God, blah, blah, blah. Oh my God, I don't understand on. these people. It is so real. I know people. I've seen yeah. people actually struggling with this disease. Like I don't understand why people. It's like if they don't believe it exists because it does because it no, happened no, to them. It's no, no, because what, cause one guy told me that apparently, like some of his friends, like they've lost their sense of like um, taste for like months, mm -hmm. and it's, it's, not, it's not like their smell and taste have just been like fucked up for like months. So I'm like, man, look, this the stuff is real, man. You know, and also with this with this whole COVID twenty new strain, man. I'm like Jesus. Yeah. I don't know when we'll be going back. I've got, I've got this whole studio done up nice. See, so you've got the sofa ready, so we can all chill, chill, sit down, and watch football. But Lord knows when that's gonna happen, man. <laughs> or even I, I sit like, down and speak. People need to like forget this. about the notion of of normal, you know. Yeah, I mean, basically forget that notion. I think like if because always like the best thing in life is always prepare for the worst. So hey, mm. if things are better, it's cool. But just prepare that look. Because I was even watching a program where like this guy was saying, look, just put your mindset that for the next few months, this is how it's going to be. Yep. So it's, if it's not, hey, it's good. 
But as long as you're just prepared for it and you just readjust your life to this is how it is, then mm. because like, mm. I, mean, I think like the earliest that things can be back to normal is by fall next year. So if the huh. vaccine works, the vaccine gets out to everyone, everyone takes the vaccine, because they say that by, by the time everyone gets to the vaccine, it's going to be by September 2021. So... Yeah, man, man. Like he said, you just got to prepare for the worst. Like, my workplace, they just keep moving the times back for when we'll be going into the office. Mm. Um, now they're saying April. Mm. And this was before all of this kicked off. So God knows what's going to happen now. Oh, They've no. already said that one of the courses that they're doing mm. is just going to be online only. Like, just that's it. It's online only. Yeah, no, 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 no. Everything's yeah. changing. No, because, no, yeah, you, yeah, you're, because... you're charging me nine grand tuition fee to, to do online classes. You gotta give me that money back. You gotta uh-huh. run me that money back, at least half. That's yeah. a t- that's a liberties. Sorry, I'm not paying nine grand to sit at my laptop and stress. <laughs> Mad. Yeah, no, no, because what's the, because as even at our workplace, someone actually got COVID mm. and then the whole place was basically like shut down and everything. So like, because we're, because we're supposed to come back into the office like in stages. But then once this person got COVID, they're like, all right, boom, everyone, we now have to now walk from home, man. So, Just a quick so. one. Yannicka, can you share that tweet again on YouTube? Because when I tried to allow it, it just says error. I don't know if you deleted it or something. You're mute. You're on mute. You're on mute. Sorry, yeah, it wouldn't let me post it. Yeah, post it again yeah. and then I will. I can allow it. I think I put link blocks yeah. on here because last time people were doing a madness. We had, like, racists coming in, spamming. <laughs> all right. So, so, so oh, these guys are still around? No, no. Well, well, I haven't Let's seen me. them. <laughs> I haven't seen them. Hopefully <laughs> they've been banned. Yeah, just keep saying error no, whenever I try. Right, no, I just retweeted it. So if anyone wants to see the video that yeah. we're talking about, head to my Twitter. Um, my at is right there on the screen and you can see my last retweet. Um, yeah, and prepare to be disgusted. And no, yeah. no, that's 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 just filthy, man. You put yeah. we'll, 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 when we filthy. release this, you'll see. Mm. We'll, we'll probably put the video in as well. I don't even know if I want to put it up on our Twitter just in case. No, 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 no that's that's just that's... in case. Just in case Twitter try to take it down. So yeah, we'll probably yeah. retweet it from the guys that. We'll see. It. We'll see. But that's... yeah, so um, before we actually get into talking about it, um, let's run that intro. Well, wait, so who did that beat? Where where did that beat from? Same beat, uh, same guy. The same, the oh, same, same guy, guy did our, yeah. <laughs> He's our guy, man. <laughs> He's going to make all our wait, 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 Who's that? Like Nix's cousin or something? Yeah, yeah. yeah we so got everyone that wants to check it out, the link is in the bio as well. So if you want to check his Instagram out, check out all the stuff. Check it, check it, He's check it there. out. If you want beats for any project that you're doing, yeah, then he's there. But before we go into the topic, I just want to say, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, hit us up on our Instagrams. All our socials are down there. All the oh, links. Oh, so do we actually have an Instagram now, or we don't? No, I'm I'm going to create the oh. football dugout Instagram. Um, I haven't created it yet, but by the time this video, well, if anyone's rewatching it, then yeah, 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 yeah it'll yeah. be up. Um, all our socials are there, and I'm gonna try something. So from this video going forwards, you're not gonna know when I'm gonna do it, but keep a lookout as I'm gonna be putting like. Amazon gift card vouchers in videos. You're not gonna know where it is, but when you when you spot it, you redeem the code and you've gotten yourself a you've gotten yourself an Amazon gift voucher. Yo, can um, we can we do that? Um, so no, if I'm, because if I'm then to you right now and I see it pop up, can I hit that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I I I need some I need some nice got, things. Got, What's up, baby? Uh-huh. No, because you, you have a baby. Don't don't use your baby as some kind of cheap bargaining <laughs> gift, man. <laughs> it's not cheap. <laughs> oh, that's cheap. So, wait, so you're you're literally using your not your cheap. child. You're using your offspring as as a bargaining chip. Listen, that's what, listen. She's gonna start paying rent sooner or later. <laughs> You know they don't go know when it it will just pop up when it pops up. Whoever really sees sees the the Easter egg, they message and then they get the code in it. So mm. basically, from this day going forward, 
Go watch every one of our videos from start to finish if you want that cold, innit? Bro. Oh, the burn, man. Look, 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 look. At you know, yeah. you, you're using this, this sneaky tactics. Like like Medium mogul. But, <laughs> but before we get into all the questions that you sent us, let us talk about this video. Um, HH was watching it when he entered here. Unfortunately. <laughs> let, let's, and I, I can't I, erase I that from my say. memory. Let's just go straight to you, HH. What what you gotta say? Okay, so okay, so how real can we be on this program? Very yeah. real. Okay. The first thing that struck me is the race of the people that did did this. <clears throat> Two white people. Because my <clears throat> thing is this is I speak for my culture and for my people and for my skin tone. I don't think black people will come anywhere near doing any of that stuff. Because my thing is this. It's two whites. That's the main thing. I saw a child. I saw a dog. I saw a cat. How are you engaging in that act and your dog, your cat, and your child are involved? And the, basically, it's like, as I think it's, it's got worse because my thing was, this is already, it's, it's already fucked up. It's already messed up. But then the child now goes towards the father and the father's like, oh, but then the, the child then somehow... Basically, I would have broken my phone. If that thing had gone where the child was getting in, I would have broken my phone. Then I would have basically blamed you guys for scarring me for the rest of my life. Because I would say that, please, I am begging you, Lord in heaven, don't make this thing go that roots, man. But no, my thing is this, is that, look, white people are freaky. It is what it is. Like, the white woman are the ones that will do the craziest things and will go way over the edge. Black women, look, we're here to make love, they are boundaries and stuff. And even if you even think that's sort of like, what? White woman is, where is the edge? I'm going 3,000 years over the edge. So my thing is that it's a white woman thing. Trust me, it is what it is. And which is why I say to myself that, but see, now that's the thing, you see, is, is the kind of white woman. I think, I always say like, there's a difference between Eastern Europeans and like Western yeah, European Eastern Americans. No, 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 there's a difference. I love these Eastern Europeans. No, that's true. I think because I think Eastern European women, I think they have kind of similar values and thing is as like Africans, Nigerians, and so forth. But these West European women and so forth, these women are just wild. As in my God. So basically, when you see some something like that, man, I'm like. I just want to just ask the couple that why that's just what i was just why are you doing that because like are you doing that because basically you know what i actually didn't want because i i don't even want to know, know the answer because i think i'm actually afraid of what the answer could, could potentially be because they looked so calm in that situation so relaxed that their child their dog and their cats are watching them that i'm like you know what yeah but the thing is, what's that? The camera, like, who was filming? There's so many questions. <laughs> There's that, so many that, questions. Like, why is there a camera there? Yeah. Why are they, like, who, who's filming that? Who is that footage for? Secondly, where are the covers? Like, why, why if your child runs in, at least the, 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 the first thing you're going to think of, all right, let's cover up. Mm. No, they, these guys were just out in the open, just fully. My man was fully butt naked. She had a top yeah. on. He was fully butt naked. Not once did he think. Let me try to put some clothes on or something to hide this from my child. Thirdly, is it his child? Do you know what I mean? Are there is are they the parents of this child? Is it like is he the is he the dad? Do you know what I mean? We don't know any of these things. That just could be a, a, a mom could have just brought home a brother to get a thing. And now he's in this situation where this child's running and he's like, Well, I don't want to stop. It's not my child. I'm not scoring my child. Do you understand what I mean? Oh. Four. Why is the child allowed to stay in the room? <laughs> I mean, the child is saying, if no, no. you want to continue, kick the child out of the room. Five, how many animals they got? And why are they all up in the room at the same time? <laughs> was it a plan? Like, did the child say to the cat and the dog, yo, let's go bust these fools. So, I'm, hearing some, I'm hearing some noises in there. My mom's in trouble. Come, let's go. Like, at what point, six, this is six, at what point <laughs> were they going to stop? I mean, they were never going to stop. To That's the whole point. What would have to happen? Because at one point the child was on top of the father and they were still in, he was still inside. At what point were they going to stop? What has to happen for them? Like, if a, if a train derailed and hit the side <laughs> of the house, would that uh, be enough for them to stop? 
Or would they just keep going? They just kept going. Do you know what I mean? Were they dead inside each other? And they're in the hospital and they're both, wow, these guys, they really, really wanted to do this thing. Like, couldn't they have postponed this, adjourned the meeting? Do you understand what I mean? And be like, you know, we'll come back to this in about half an hour. Let me just put little man to bed. (laughs) How horny do you have to be? (laughs) I don't get it. I don't get it. There's so many questions. I don't get it. I do not understand it. No, I mean, yeah, it's like, it's... No, no, because my thing about it is... You see, that's okay. Okay, okay. So basically, so you, you, you this is basically no holds bad. Yeah, you're saying. <laughs> okay, so my thing is this. So when he busts a nut, so is he just going to just do that in front of the child and the dog and the cat? <laughs> that's my thing. Is like, hence why I'm so glad that it, it ended there because I want to. So because my thing is that how did this? How did this end? How did this finish? Because this there has to be an ending. So if so, okay, so if you bust a knot, so does it just bust a knot like everywhere? And I, I mean, look, it's it's <laughs> like no, it's 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 messed up. No, and also as well as like because the, the weird thing was it was the cats. The cats was looking like if the cats wanted like a better angle of the action, because you see the cats basically hop onto the table, saying that like, yo, can you guys sort of adjust? I can actually see this thing better. And it, I mean, it's like, look, it's the stuff as well. Cats are curious. Curious animals. True, no, no, cats are No, but I was saying, you know, curious if he killed the cat. <laughs> see, this, basically, put it this way if that couple was black, I would be shocked. <laughs> Hence, when, like, when I saw they were both white, I was like, I was not shocked at who is. Bray, I have no idea what was going on, man. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. So, my thing about this is that my shock is at the act, not at the people doing the act. If, if, if you get what I mean. I'm like, yeah, but it's just the very th- fact that that thing was happening. But my thing is, look, is this is that, look, there's some couples who are like, hey, man, like this, yeah, sex, whatever. It's, 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 no, it's no biggie. Everyone can come in. Any kid can come in, you know? So, I mean. Uh... Listen, I w- uh, <laughs> so I was just getting about my day and then I see Devil sent uh, the link in our chat and I was just like, What's going on here? And I see like Bear, like Neat getting involved laughing. And I was like, let me see what's going on here. I click the video and I'm just like, what's going on? Why is there even animals in the room for starters? And then I see the kid walking. I'm like, okay, yeah, this is surely going to end. Because I, I see them stop. So I was like, all right, cool. Obviously, they're going to stop. So I'm like, why is Devil actually sending this video? Is it because I didn't even the kid... watch the whole video? I got to that no. point and I thought that was it. I stopped watching. So that's the... That's the thing I thought. I was like, why the devil send this kid? And then, you know, they stopped. The kid is in there. And then I see it start to continue. And I'm like, what is going on here? The kid is walking around in the room. Cats jumping up on the side of the cabinet. Dogs in there. Everyone's just watching. Like, what is actually going on? Actually, I, I, actually I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this, though. Now, this is like a weird angle to read upon it. This means that the parents never have to have that kind of where do babies come from? Hmm. Discussion with the, with, the, with, the, with the kid. So when the kid just asks, where do babies come from? Remember that viral video that was on <laughs> Dear Dog Arts and everything like that? Watch it. And, and with this, like, mate, you were there. So there's, there's nothing not, not to explain. So yeah. So, so the kid oh, pretty much knows where kids come from. The video is on Ooh, Twitter. Nice. I think Devo retweeted it. And I think yeah. Yannicka retweeted it as well. So just go on Twitter, you'll find it um, from one of those guys. But And then... It gets it gets worse, so I'm just like, okay, what is actually happening? There? So I skip for skip forward a bit, and I'm like, like it's like a party going on. The animals are moving around. They're like jumping on the bed, and then I see the kid get on the bed, and then their kid literally right next to the guy and the mom, and like it's like he he's like he's involved in it. He's like he's he's like he's playing it. He, he it's thinks like, it's like a game. Like the, the that's mom, the thing. Like, yeah. he's like, oh, they, like, mommy and daddy like, are, are playing daddy, around. Like, yeah. like, like you know, like, like I don't this, know, a game team. He's like, oh, actually, why daddy too? At this point, <laughs> I actually God. have to question this and think of oh, pedophiles because what's right, going on here? From the time the kid gets up on the bed and the kid is next to you, literally on you. I think I think that's child. Put, uh, that, that's 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 pedophilia. And they, they, they they down. Do you know what it that's is? Bad. Do you know what it is? To do something like that is actually sexual abuse. Like to have mm. sex. That's what I'm trying to say. Or to watch yeah. porn with your children. That is that is a form of sexual abuse. 
But I think with this, like, at the beginning, because when I first saw it, I'm thinking it's dark. Obviously, the dog can see more than the kid because oh. it's a theme. Mm. So the dog's, like, looking. But the kid, you can tell at first, doesn't know what's going on. He's just talking to his mum or whatever he's doing. But then I thought, OK, they're going to stop because, obviously, she's communicating with the kid. If she jumps up, it looks a bit... So maybe she thought, let me just stay in this position and, and speak to the kid. But then she mm. continues. The mm. kid's there and she's still continuing. Obviously, the kid has no idea what's going on. So then that's why the kid obviously jumps on top as well and thinks, oh, I'll join in. But, yeah. yeah but you just... still continue while the kid is there. That's, like, yeah, not even, that. sorry, not even while the kid is there. The kid is now next to you, on you. Yeah. Like, how do you, as a person, now continue knowing that your kid is right there? Like, cheeks but are how... clapping. Like, your, your kid is touching you. <laughs> One slip, your kid could be all over your... Oh, come on, man. This is... No, how no, this you, is wrong. This is wrong. Remain, how would you remain hard in that situation? That's what I want to know. There's a yeah, kid. That, there's a kid. Brother, that brother has zero morals. Yeah, basically, he's, <laughs> his brain is basically different. Because, because my thing is that... Yeah, he's if not plugged in properly. The, 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 the fact that you're still erect with a dog and yeah. a cat and your kid there... <laughs> Means that your brain is operating at a wholly different level. <laughs> because my thing is, see, see this is my thing. Tunnel vision. That's what he's. I know, no, no, no. But it's <laughs> tunnel, not vision. tunnel vision. Is it that this actually makes you even more aroused that you're being watched by your kid and a dog and a cat? That could be why the camera. So basically, dogs and cats watching you have sex actually arouses you even more. That makes it even sicker and unaware of itself. So basically, that's a guy that I don't want to meet, man. Yeah. In real life, though. Listen, nah, devil, man. I, I'm sorry. I literally, when I, uh, I'm spun. I don't even know what to actually, say. Oh, okay, but, but actually, this actually leads on to an interesting question then. So, and maybe this is for that can involve everyone. So, obviously for devil and Jay, what is the craziest thing, sexual thing that a woman wanted you to, wanted you to do during sex? And for Yannicka, what is the craziest thing that a guy did or suggested during sex? You know, I, I, and it's funny because she was Eastern European, actually. Hey. Um, she, me, no, she, she wanted me to punch her in the face. And I was like, I'm not doing, I'm not doing that. I, I see how this is going to end already. Do you know what I mean? Like me in a police station trying to explain myself. <laughs> no, thanks. And you're black as well. <laughs> exactly. No, no, thank you. I was like, no, nah, I'm not doing that. You're right. I'm not punching you in the face. You must be mad. No, thank you. Boy. Uh, for me... I I've never been in that position where someone's asked me to do something crazy like that because I have probably only slept with only two people that are not black and they were calm because they grew up in 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 the parts where you you know people are pretty much mostly the same so I I don't know that so I've never experienced that and I uh, I wouldn't want to ask you to do those crazy stuff nah not down for that so I actually don't have nothing to say to that Yannick so now I'm interested to hear from Yannick whether that like the kinds of things that guys would have have tried to suggest to do on anything or do you know what like nothing my sex life has been very <laughs> cool. boring. <laughs> boring not boring yeah. as in boring but i mean like there ain't ain't been any crazy stories because you know it's the same thing it's always like black people so yeah. <laughs> you don't you don't, you don't want to say uh you don't want to say boring because you don't want to hurt their egos nah, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I saw a tweet um, on the trending hashtag at the moment on Twitter saying, um, um, ladies, you need to stop rewarding um, men. It's bad behavior. If you, no, sorry, they said don't reward bad behavior. They say don't fake an orgasm because it's rewarding bad behaviors and you shouldn't do that. It's true. It's true. <laughs> I agree with that. I prefer, I wouldn't like it if, if, if a woman did that to me. I, I, you know, I just prefer you tell me you're doing it wrong and tell me, you know, what, okay, so what should I do? I'm here to learn too. You know what I mean? I don't like all that. You know, you know what I think it is, though? I think when you like someone, mm. it's like I was having a conversation with my colleague um, yesterday, actually, 
And he was saying that he's seeing this really pretty girl. So he showed me she's really, really pretty. And um, he said she's dead in bed. Like, he's like, she's so pretty, but she's dead in bed. And I was like, because she's pretty, guys have probably been telling her she's the best. You know, she's amazing because he said her head is dead. And, like, she just mm. doesn't do anything in bed. And I'm like, mm. that's because she's pretty. Guys will think I want to sleep with her. They'll be telling her all sorts of stuff. And then even after they have sex, they'll still be telling her, like, you know, this is this is the best I've had or whatever they're telling her. So she in she thinks like she's really, really good when actually she's not. And I think that probably happens with guys as well. If a girl really likes a guy, you're not gonna tell him, Oh, you're dead in bed. It's only when you break up that them sort of comments come out. So yeah. I think that's yeah. what it is. I think it's when people like each other, they just lie and like fake orgasms or anything together mm. to make out like mm. it's cool when it's not. So <laughs> Yeah, no, I agree with that. No, I, I don't agree with fake. Although I have faked many times before. But the thing is, this is the situation. Is that like, why am I let, here? But, but, but let's say a, a, a woman like really likes a guy and so forth, and she really likes him based on just like personality and so forth. But sexually, he isn't very good. Would he still begrudge the woman for faking an orgasm because that just helps with his ego? Because trust me, for men, our ego is all that we have. Like that is like our pride and our, and our joy. So, would you begrudge the woman for faking an orgasm because she wants to sort of make the guy feel good, even though she knows that this guy sexually is bad? Or is, would it be better for the woman to say to the guy that, "Hey, you, I needed to do this, and you, you're not really hitting the right spots for me or, or anything," in fear of you telling that story to the guy, and that may be sort of harming his ego. So, what's the best thing? Yeah, Tell him the truth. <laughs> I think I think No sorry, I had to change my headphones. Uh, then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> I think you should um it's better to sort of guide them. But the thing is for me, like with sex in general, like what works for one girl won't work for every girl. So mm. you might be the absolute best in bed with your ex, but with your new girl, you're not cutting it. Do you know what I mean? So mm. I think with sex, like a lot of people and they kind of get into the head where they're good in bed because five girls have told them they're good in bed. The mm. next girl, you might not be good to her. So it's about knowing your partner and knowing what they like specifically. So I oh, think yeah, yeah. a lot of the time, guys will, guys will be, I've I've had it before, like guys telling me that they're best in bed, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and then it's not the case. So it's like, yeah. but because other girls have said, oh, you're the best, you're the best, they think mm. that they're the best and what they do is going to please everyone. And that's just not the case. So I think, I think it's about knowing your partner as well, and then that way they won't have to fake orgasm because you'll know what they like, and then when mm. you do what they like, they'll like it. Well, no, no, which is why you've got to have a plan B. You've got to have a plan B. You can't just go every game same tactics. Yeah. Well, no, 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 but because I think like because again, some women have told me that like what's for a lot of guys, it's about pleasuring themselves. Yeah. And not about pleasuring the woman. So it's really just all about them. So therefore, there isn't like a reciprocal kind of back and forth to the whole thing. And then another thing as well is also, again, this is even what I was talking to with my friend, is the whole thing with porn. Porn isn't real. <laughs> yeah. So people think that, oh, geez, okay, like maybe if I do this. See, now, for some women, they, that stuff can work. The kind of very kind of aggressive thing it takes the boss for some women that doesn't work. So once you now sort of bring that into it, it's like, well, this works, this works for her and so forth, but not just work for her. Because even like as Deva was saying, like with his like with what women wanted to want, this lady I was with, she just wanted things to be really aggressive. And I'm like, oh. that for me is a turn off. Like for me, like aggression is good, but to a point. But when you're getting like, no, I want it to be like really physical, I'm like, uh, no, that's just like, that's. I'm like, okay, this is now like this is now like I'm now like at war. <laughs> so, so it's like, yeah, but um, no, but but for some women, that turns them on. Like, yeah, like I wanted to be bitten. Like, there's like blood and everything. We were biting yeah. each other. Hit. I'm like, whoa. I, we even had bruise. Bruise. Once you get to the point of bruises, I'm like, okay, this is now like now this is something different now. But yeah, but, but, but uh, well, porn is dangerous. Porn is dangerous. Because hmm. it does, it does portray a false um, reality, 
and a lot of people watch it and think that is what sex is is like mm -hmm. and that's not real do you know what i mean mm -hmm. it's that's why it's, it's pornography it's fantasy yeah you watch that to escape your reality it's not mm. what you do in real life if if that is what you're into there are places to do that but it's not mm. in your everyday life mm. do you know what i mean and, and a lot of young a lot of younger people probably watch a lot of porn because it's so readily accessible yeah yeah yeah, and yeah. mix the two and don't understand the difference between it so kind of glad question, can you guys hear me yeah, yeah, can you, can you, can you, okay no because Maybe no, I'm just gonna so, so just before you um, say it, because mm. I know we're moving off. Um, I was just saying that for me personally, yes, men have their uh, egos and it's all about that. But I rather you tell me that it wasn't good, so at least I know. Because if I don't know, then I'm gonna think you know what it is. It is what it is. And then when I then go and hear it from this person, that person, or it's a word on the grapevine that this guy is all, is, <laughs> is actually whack, then that will hurt your ego more. Then mm -hmm. if, for me personally, then if you had just told me, because then at least it'd be like, obviously I'll be like, rah, but then obviously <laughs> you just, you know, you get better, I guess. But Practice makes perfect, man. You won't know if you're bad if no one tells you. Yeah. Sometimes criticism is, is needed. No, no, but yeah. see, that, that, see, that's why it's interesting to see what the youth are like right now, because again, like when I was young, there was no broadband. It was only dial-up. So what's it called? Your porn hubs and Xvideos didn't exist. So literally it was all... Yeah, DVD because I remember like in 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 our school like there was just one porn video for the entire school and all this on the DVD <laughs> and I remember like there was there, there was one point it just shows how sad we were we were, they were all watching porn in this thing and there were like about 50 13 year olds all piled around into this room watching this laptop screen and then we saw like one of our teachers come through and I just saw these 50 kids just all dis 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 disperse as we we're trying to get us but like it's like with kids now in schools, you have your WhatsApp, you have your internet, your phone can go everywhere. So it's like almost how much porn are kids watching now? And how is this maybe affecting them sexually? That's that, that's an interesting thing. You know? Yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's something I guess we we'll probably can go into on another show. Um, but yeah, we have to, we've got some questions to uh, jump into as people did um, think. But okay, actually, before we go on to that, I think Devil did um, say he wanted to bring up the vaccine so i hand yeah. over to you Devin. i just wanted to see because this is something i thought about and at the time i was thinking you know it's bad to have this thought but then I, the more i think about it the more it kind of makes sense to me so i just want to see what you guys think so you know that they're rolling out the vaccine in care homes now my thing was wouldn't it make more sense to give the vaccine to people visiting people in a care home rather than the people in the care home because they can't leave anyway they can't go mm. nowhere do you know what I mean? They're stuck in the care home. They can't go nowhere. So if you give it to the people that have family members in the care home who are going to visit, mm -hmm. wouldn't that be a better idea? And then I, was, then I was thinking, perhaps they were giving the vaccine to people in the care homes because they don't have too long to go anyway. So if there's any side effects, they can just put it down to, oh, no, but they died of natural causes. Mm -hmm. So I just want to know what you guys are thinking. Do you think that, you know, obviously they're running it out to key workers, NHS, blah, 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 which they should do. Mm -hmm. um, teachers should be next in line if you want to keep these schools open anyway. But do you think that the reason why they're giving it to people in care homes is, isn't is as um, innocent as they make it out to be? Uh, okay, okay so, so, so are you saying that the the that it's it's something fishy with regards to who they're giving the, the vaccine to? Yeah, so they're giving it to the elderly, uh, people within care homes. And obviously the elderly can't go nowhere they're in care homes they're not going to go out and walk about whatever but the people who's who are their family so okay. their sons daughters whatever it is who are going to visit people in the care home they should be the ones vaccinated oh you know i mean but then my first thing is like i mean how many of those first of all want to have the vaccine that's the first thing and also the second thing is like i think the who is who are the most vulnerable because people said the people that yeah, are most vulnerable, vulnerable are the care home residents you know what I mean? And most of them probably don't have, this sounds horrible, but mm. they don't have too much, lo they don't have too much longer to go, do they? Mm. They're in the care home for a reason. And my thinking is if, if these people are in the care home and they're given the vaccine, mm. if they die within the next year, because I'm hearing that the, the, the vaccine, they haven't had um, certain side effects. They haven't looked past a certain amount of time. They don't know what the long standing of, long term yeah, 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 yeah. Are of it. Yeah. But if you give it to someone in a care home, if they if they die within a year and a half, 
you don't really know what the side effects are. You don't know if that was a side effect of the vaccine. Do you understand? Mm. I mean, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but these mm. things make sense to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, so you're saying that, like, so there, it doesn't make sense to give the vaccine to people in who are who basically live 24-7 in care homes. Yeah. Sorry, 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 to, sorry stop you on there. Is, do you guys hear some kind of noise? No, it's it? gone now. Yeah, it's, it's, gone. it's gone now. It's gone now. It yeah. was there. Oh, okay. No, it's gone now. Yeah, for me, that doesn't make sense. Mm. Because they can't go nowhere anyway. So, do you know what I mean? It, it, the, the people that are going to visit them, if you have a list of people who are allowed to visit each each person in the care home, vaccinate those people mm. so they can go and see the people that they want to go see. You know, no, I, th- I think, yeah, because, yeah, it makes sense because it's like the whole point of the vaccine is so that the, you can't pass this, the disease onto other people as you're moving around. Because... Exactly. Yeah, because the vaccine isn't a cure. The vaccine is a pre- prevention. So if you have COVID, the vaccine isn't going to cure your COVID. But it's going to stop you from passing it on to others, no? They say that they're not sure. They're saying that it will stop the symptoms being as bad, but you can still pass it on at the moment. Oh, I see. So that's why they're giving it to the most vulnerable people because they're saying if they get it, they won't get it as bad. Yeah. I think it's kind of like the flu, mm. where you know, I mean, you can still get it, but you just don't get it as bad. I think that's what that's what the idea is. Yeah, at the moment. Because a, a friend of mine, he's his missus is a teacher, mm. and I'm not sure if he got this text because of that or because he lives in Westminster and then people have money. But he got a text saying that he, he's due for the vaccine around June to September time. <laughs> you know what I mean, and that's that's like way down the line, and that's yeah, like I ain't gonna get that text. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I, you know what I mean? I, so, so even if I wanted to take the vaccine, which I would if it's if it proves to to be okay, obviously I would. Mm. I'm not gonna have that till closer to 2022. That's you know what crazy. I mean? so, so, so basically, we're not gonna be getting the vaccines. So basically, by the time a whole the whole of England gets vaccinated, we're looking at 2022. Listen, if, I don't even mind not getting the vaccine first because, like, uh, for good for me. To, what if you get the vaccine and it just makes things worse and you just get sick and the people are just dying out? I'm not saying it's going to happen. Obviously, that's the worst case scenario. Mm. But I don't want to be the guinea pig. I know there's guinea ki- pigs before because obviously they had to test the vaccine. Yeah, they didn't. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We are the mass test now. We are the mass test. But they, they've, they've done the test for certain things, but not others. Like They don't know if it has any effects mm. on pregnant women or women who are breastfeeding. Or they don't know if any of these things have effect from from the vaccine. It's just they know what what it, it does to people in regards to the COVID, mm. but in regards mm. to other things, they have no idea. Which again, yeah, that, why I that's think the thing. That's what I said. people I'm... in care homes because do you know what I mean, them mm. man, them man, they're gonna time anyway. So even if they do get something, they're at the end of their they're at the end of their line. So what difference does it make? That that's what I'm trying to say. I feel like that's what I said. I'm awake. Well, obviously, I have to wait anyway. But if they said I can take it tomorrow, I wouldn't because I don't know what it can, what effects it can have on me. Yes, I'm not pregnant, and yes, I'm I may not fit all the people that they haven't tested it on. But I don't want to be the guinea pig because next week something happens to me. Anything could happen to you anyway, regardless. But I I rather not die because I took a vaccine. Pay me a lot of money, maybe, and I mm. might take it. <laughs> I, think we'll get them. I think they said that um, if you if you die through complications from the vaccine, I think it's 150 grand or something. Pay oh. out. Well, that will just cover the much. coffin. No, you much. Have coffin. you seen what how much coffin you want, bro? <laughs> no, but I'm trying to, no, but I'm trying to say... Look, no, those I'm coffins saying are not liable, are man. They're not liable. <laughs> so, so, no, look, do you think those companies like Pfizer and BioNTech, do you think they're going to be liable? They I'm sure they've sent the correct and like... Eh. Sure. Yeah, they've said yeah, that yeah. it's you take it at your own risk. I think. Key. Yeah, yeah. like yeah, like they're not liable. You have to take it because they're yeah. going to lock down everything if you don't have it. You're not going to be able to travel. You're probably not going to be able to like all these people that want to go to concerts and mm. oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. if you don't have the uh, certificate saying you've been vaccinated, you ain't going nowhere. Yeah, no, no. What's it called in Spain? Apparently, they said it in Spain. They're basically keeping a list of all of those people who have decided not to take the vaccine. Mm. This know. is it. This is exactly why I don't want to take it. That's it. <laughs> That is exactly why the Walking yeah. Dead starts. Nah, that they, they'll definitely kill myself. I do not want to be involved in yeah, any do you know kind what? of zombie apocalypse. Forget it. I don't think you do too well in the Walking Dead, bro. 
No, I, I wouldn't. I, really listen, I listen, listen right. Devil, I Devil. Right. I already said this. I already when when The Walking Dead was the thing. I used to say, listen, I don't understand why these people want to survive. What kind of world are you actually <laughs> surviving in? There's no cure. It's constantly getting worse. Like it got to a point where humans were eating humans. I said, as soon as this breaks out. I'm taking my life. I ain't got time for this. Like, <laughs> what am I actually surviving for? What hope. is there to survive? Hope you gotta, what? you gotta have hope. There is no yeah, have hope. hope there. Man, have hope. Man, listen, have hope. They, listen, have hope and die quick. In the first, <laughs> any the horror first movie, season, have, they have went hope to the CD, die They went to the CDC and they said there is no cure. And mm-hmm. then now they're saying once you die, the virus is already inside of you, so you just turn anyway. So like. You're dead. Like I, I can't. No, I said nah. There's, there's no hope. I will never, ever, ever. I, zombie apocalypse. I'm out. <laughs> I'd do pretty well. I think. I'm a scrapper. Do you know what I mean? I'd do pretty well. And I'd yeah, sacrifice. But that's the thing. People. You know these people. You know, these people, for, you know these people meet new people like just strangers, and then they're risking their life for them. Nah, none of that. I'm sacrificing you. <laughs> you know what I mean, I'm gonna dash <laughs> you away. And that's, away and that's the I problem. <laughs> and that's the problem. It just you just end up being cannibals and savages, and no, what's actually eating, the no, point no, of no, living? I'm not eating people. When no, I say no, sacrifice, not, I mean I'm dashing no, no. you into the zombies. So I could get no, away. No, but that's what I mean. Then you can't trust nobody, and everyone can't. That, that's exactly what happened in The Walking Dead. It came to a point where they didn't. Anyone knew that came in. They didn't trust them, and they just of killed they them. And that's this is the problem that as I'm saying, I wouldn't want to go into that. Like, what kind of world is that? And then having kids in that world, like, what for what reason? <laughs> what reason, man? For, yeah, for no, 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 I think forget it. Look, I said again, just, just the, the key thing that just tell me that the world is ending, so I'm gonna just get a spaceship, go to Mars, man. <laughs> so was, so, so, so they should have done that in The Walking Dead. Why didn't they think of it? Mm. They didn't have that knowledge, man. They didn't have that knowledge, man. <laughs> Uh, let's do these questions. But yeah, let's jump into these questions. Let's, let's jump these into these questions. Let me get these questions up. Um... At the stream. You got any questions? You going to give us any questions, laptop? It's a blank screen. There we go. Is this even the first one? Let's see. Yep, yeah, it's the first one. From Kwam, Kwame or Kwam? Kwame, Kwame. Am I, Kwame. Yeah, Sorry. Did, did Kwame, yeah. Forgive, <laughs> forgive me. Um, I've been too colonized. Um, if, you were, <laughs> <laughs> if you were arrested without an explanation, what would your friends think it was for? Had to throw this in because devil thinks I'm Hugh Hefner. Yeah, because this brother was just asking pure, like, it's called Horny Plutonia. Yeah, and he, he was living up to his name. Everything he was asking Horny was Plutonia. star name, this. And if if you... And, and also, you looking at that AVI... Oh, mm. you see the one he said about you, about, about your wife coming in for a strap on or something? The <laughs> heck? Yeah, I don't, I don't think I've seen that one. He okay. said, if you was working in a sex shop and HH's wife came in to buy a strap on, would you tell him or would you give extra loop? The heck? Yeah, so I thought, let me wait, not wait. put that one on there. Who, who but now I've anyway. I don't know, but he's wow. a bit um, something. And and also yeah. his AVI look looks a bit so suspicious, man. That look, yeah. basically, see, that looks I'll... like you know. I mean, I'm not. I don't. I don't anyway, so let, answer, answer <laughs> let's let let's see. Yeah, first yeah, without an answer. Yannicka, I would like. I want you to go first. Um, oh, I don't know. What would they think it was for? I've never committed a crime. Like I've never, <laughs> I've never been arrested before. Um, but if I did, probably be for some sort of driving <laughs> offence. Definitely. Road rage. Do you have road rage? No, nah, I just drive too fast. So yeah, <laughs> I'll do that. <laughs> mm. I th- you see, for me, like, what would your friends think it was for? Um, fraud. <laughs> no, 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 come on. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not fraud. Okay, well, actually, you know what? Now, nah, okay, like, n- let me actually not reveal that in case someone is, is actually listening. Um, I think it would possibly be assault on like teenage kids or teenage girls because I said, because what? one of the most annoying, <laughs> no, 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 I'll, I'll be real with what, you. Like, what did you not want to say? <laughs> no, 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 no. no, because my thing is like one of the most annoying things is whenever like a bunch of 
school kids, teenage kids, girls speak really loudly and they just scream and they just scream so loud. So I would possibly get, and this is just one of the many things, but I was, if I was arrested, they probably think that's here, yeah, like he snapped because, and then just sort of attacked one of these like teenage girls. And then they just obviously put me in jail for that, you know. So yeah, it was yeah, slapping exactly on teenage girls. <laughs> no, 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 no. I didn't say anything about rape. I said attack. No, but Jack Ripper didn't rape them. He just killed oh, he them. Killed them. Killed no, them. No, but there's a difference between like, assault and murder. Yeah, <laughs> yeah true, true. No, they don't this would only be a bit assault. Yeah. And I said again, it, I said I, w- I would never do that to any teenage girl or girls. And I'm just saying that if mm. people think, oh yeah, you know, he finally snapped and just attacked a bunch of teenage girls, so. I was once assaulted by a teenage girl at a concert. How and why? I threw, I, I threw a bottle of water in her face by accident. And then um, next because it was in the middle of like this this gig in like Camden Barfly. And like the, the band were crazy. The drummer set up the drum set in the crowd. And I was on the stage. And I dashed this water off the stage. I was hit this girl in the face. And then next thing I'm in this mosh pit and I just feel someone kicking me in the back of my legs, just repeatedly kicking me. And I turn around, it's just like 14 year old girl. I'm like, what are you doing? And my friend, like Aussie Phil, who's a big Aussie guy with a massive beard, I like, jumped in front of me and was like, Leave my friend alone. Leave her alone. I was like, fucking hell. <laughs> yeah, so that, that was Camden used to be crazy. Um for oh, me, no, no. Camden is still arrested, crazy. It would be for drunken disorderly or indecent exposure or something like that. <laughs> Imagine, I'd be naked in the Wait, so it's, so basically you just prance around the streets like nude or something or but I used to have a thing where when I used to get drunk when I was younger, mm. I used to lose my clothes. Like I'd go wow. into a club and I'll come out and <laughs> I wouldn't have a jumper. Lose your clothes. Because I'll get drunk and yeah. take them off. So I used to come out, I didn't have a jumper, I didn't have a belt. Do you know what I mean? Like my friend would come back and be like, bro, there's your belt. I was like, oh, safe. Hey. Like, oh. so I've lost t shirts, all sorts of things. Yeah, I used to do that. It sounds like you had some wild childhood. Oh, no, no. My, my, my younger days were mental. Teenage years. Teenage, all up to the time I was 30, bro. My, <laughs> oh. Trust me, I've got crazy stories, man. Crazy stories. There's a picture of me on, on Facebook, and I've got a big cut down my back. Mm. Because I used to like get drunk and jump into like, you know, in Covent Garden, you got all the tables and chairs from the restaurant. After I come out of the club, I just dash myself into the tables, chairs, dash them everywhere. Why? And then just walk off. Because I, I don't know, I was drunk. It was fun. Oh, oh you were drunk. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah. So just one day I woke first, up. Man, the devil lived life. Big cut <laughs> <down my head. laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Got many battle scars as well. But yeah, probably drunk and disorderly. Ah, if I was arrested, what would it be? You know what? I think it might be the same thing with, with Yannicka, you know, because on the roads, yeah, I have the maddest road rage. Like, someone could be going one mile per hour too slow. Like, it's a 50 and they're going, like, 49. I'm mad. I'm like, why am I going at 49 with you? I, I want to go. Like, I have some mad road rage. People cut into I me. I could I'm not all, believe that. I'm all pulling. Nah, Boy. Nothing about you says road rage to me, Jay. No, but because you're never oh, no, in a car oh, with no, me. Oh, no, Jovan can snap. I'm being sarcastic. I'm being sarcastic. No, 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 no. It is right. I've I've seen the vicious side of Javen, man. So sometimes mm-hmm. Javen can just go crazy and just snap, man. So listen, I I can hold I can hold it and, and firm a lot of things, but there's one thing I can't firm is just dumb drivers on the road, the slow ones, the ones taking up the lanes, the ones that stop me from passing because yeah. they're just in the middle of two lanes. Listen, I have <laughs> I have the worst road rage. Like I'll be driving, there's a road just round the corner from me. I look, we're driving and they were just going so slow. I was like, this is ridiculous. I literally went on the oncoming lane, um, oncoming traffic lane and overtook two cars. I was like, you man, I'm moving too slow. I can't. And the, and the thing is, there's even no rush to where I was going. I just don't like being dictated how to, how, what speed I'm driving at. I want to drive at the speed I want to. But if someone's in front of me, they're going to drive. I don't like that. So <laughs> I, I have some bad road rage, man. I, that's why um, whenever people are in the car with me, I'm, act- I'm actually toned down. But when no one's in the car with me, it's, it's, not, it's not good. I can tell you that. I, I, I just, I, that's it. It will be- it'll definitely be road rage for me, definitely. Yeah. Because you, you don't understand. Sometimes I said, if I had money 
and insurance wasn't a thing. There's some people that do dumb stuff that I'm literally in my head. It's like, I want to just smash into your car just so I can. Mm -hmm. That's how angry I get. Sometimes I'm thinking maybe I should just, just, just bump their car a little bit. But then I just say, you know what? I I don't have the money for that. So (laughs) (laughs) I calm down. I, I, I I, I hate it, man. So what's, what's right. the next cue? Because I, I've, next. Got to, I've got to sort of jump off after this question. You, all right, let's see what we have. Have you ever told a big lie and got caught out from Adriano? Hey, you can go first since you got to jump, jump off. Have you ever told a big lie and got caught out? God, well, oh, no, 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 I definitely have. Just, 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 I just, no, because I've told way too many lies. <laughs> <laughs> so like it's no 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 I've I I lie all the time like that's my my thing I I, I lie all the time <laughs> like I I like turn the the, the the truth of a losers man um because I know there was one time when um oh gosh I'm trying to think what basically there there almost too many is like okay for instance like in in school oh well yes so. Um, so basically, we had to go to chapel each time in school, and obviously, like you know, I didn't really enjoy going to chapel and, and, and stuff. So me and my friend, we used to try and um, miss chapel and so forth. So what we would do is obviously, when everyone goes, we just sort of hide, and we just basically just kick it in our rooms and everything. Then once um, the people starts coming back into like our boarding house, we basically put on like our suits and pretend that. We obviously went to chapel. So once, because obviously, when when you come out from chapel, you have to go into this foyer, and then you basically just you basically like there's like a roll call kind of thingy, and then you basically go to, to do like your homework and stuff. So basically, me and my friend we basically come down, and then we just sort of like hang at the very back with like our chapel suits and just put our hands in there and just act as if like okay we were in there. So afterwards, so they'll be like, okay guys, you all done. Oh, can um. HH and um, Yasuhiro, please stay stay behind on my own. Damn it. Because basically, <laughs> we, we, we got caught up because we missed Chapel. So, um, ah, he lies in his football ah, analysis as well. Look, man. It's a non football show. <laughs> I know, but he took about lies in it. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> but yeah, sorry. Yeah, so yeah, so basically, no, but look, I, t- I, t- I tell lies all. I, I, I tell it. See, now I'm not relying more on the truth now, but back then, yeah, look, man, I, I lie all the time, man. It is what it is. So, you, so you're a lie merchant? As I used to be. In my younger days, I used to be, but I think as of right now, nah, nah, I'm good. All right, guys, look, man, I've got to jump off, guys. So, guys, enjoy, 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 enjoy. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us. Peace, 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 peace. Yeah, no, go. Me, I don't lie, you know. But I feel like on this show, it seems like I'm lying when I'm not. Like, <laughs> it's annoying because it feels like I'm saying, like, oh, no, nah, I've got no stories, but I actually haven't. You've never lied. Never no, lied. I have lied, but not really. Like, I don't, because the thing is, like, when I was a kid, yeah, my mom, she's like one of them people that she would like. So my sister lied once and said, like, she was going to a friend's house and she was staying in all night. So my mum said, you're not allowed to go out. Mm. So she was like, yeah, I'll stay in. And then my mum had a dream that she went to Woolworths and she actually went to Woolworths. So when my mum came back, she went, you went to Woolworths? And she was like, how'd you know? But my mum dreamt it. So yeah, yeah so like my mum, she, she's a bit like, she can see stuff. So I don't mm. really, I don't really lie to my parents because it's just like, I think I'm a I'm a really bad liar. That's what it is. So if I lie, you know that I'm lying. So that's why what I don't is, really what lie. Is, what is it with um I'm 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 guessing your um your mom is black. No, nah, no, nah, she's white. Oh she's white. okay. I was about to say what it is what is it with like with like black parents? Because from from what I've heard with um with, um most of my um friends, it's like it's like them it's one of those ones where your moms are just like they just know it all. They know it all, and then they drop you with they drop you yeah. with all these things, like you know, like the olden time ways, especially when they're religious. Oh, and then they always get you, and it's just like you feel like if you do it, you're actually they actually know everything, and, and they don't actually know what's going on, but somehow yeah. they know, and it's just, and it always yeah. gets me. No, but it's, it's a real thing because like my my girlfriend has that. She has dreams, 
and then it will it will happen yeah do you know what I mean? And my ex was like that as well. I don't know if it's, I don't know what's going on there, but um, <laughs> my cousin, my cousin's the same, should have dreams. And then these things will actually happen. It's kind of mad. And yeah. a lot of people don't believe in those kind of things and like spirituality and things like that, but I kind of do. And I've seen it happen. So I get what you're saying. I get where you're coming from with that. And if I had a mum like that, I probably wouldn't bother either. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? Nah, my mum was, was like no that. Point. I was, it was, was no rough point. growing up, man. I just always yeah. had to tell the truth because I knew what was going to happen. Yeah. I knew. <laughs> I, I didn't lie to my mum, to be honest. Like, it wouldn't even be going, mad lies. Like, yeah, I'm going here. That's what I'm doing. And I'll yeah, be, the, I'll only be time, mad lies. the only time I've ever really lied is if, like, I was going on a date and I didn't want to tell mum and dad, like, I'm mm. going on a date. So I'd be like, oh, I'm just going to go meet my friend. Yeah, yeah those were the ones, yeah. Thing, nothing, nothing major. Um, and, like, my mum, to be honest, when we were growing up, like, she'd always say, you know, if you're going somewhere, let me know because mm -hmm. I'd rather yep. know where you rather, are. Yep. And, mm -hmm. yeah, so she'd say, like, if you're ever stranded, call me because I'd rather come out at four in the morning to pick you up than mm -hmm. get a phone call the next day to say something's happened to you. So, like, yeah. you always said to us, so we didn't have to lie to our parents. Like, that obviously, I grew even though my mum is white, like, my household I grew up in was a Jamaican household. My mm -hmm. dad told everything. So, yeah. like, it wasn't, I know my mum is white, but it wasn't, like, a white upbringing, if you know yeah, what I mean. I know what you mean. But, yeah, yeah so... so yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. This, that's why it makes sense, isn't it? I'm saying what you're saying makes sense because I'm just like most of my friends that were not um, that were not black. I'm, the stuff they'll say, and I'm like, "What about your parents?" They're like, what? <laughs> I'm just like, what, "What? What do you mean, what?" Like your parents? They're like, "Nah, that's fine." I'm, every black person, it was always a myth. There's always something. Like there's always things you had to do to get out of the loop. You know, you wanted to go somewhere. You got to tell them from beforehand. You know, you got to give them the lowdown, all the deets. Oh, yeah, I never, man. I never had that. I never had that. It was just me and my mom. That's why you had such a wild times, man. Like, <laughs> no, but my, my wild times come. <laughs> my wild times come from after that because I was quite a good boy up until I was about seventeen, and my mum left the country when when I was eighteen, and then that's yeah, then yeah. I was obviously after that it was like free reign. But even that's before exactly that, like, when I was, you know, was like fourteen, fifteen. I'll be like, yeah, I'm going to my friends. And I'll be there for like three days. My mum would call me on like the second day and be like, yeah, where you at? I'm like, oh, I'm at such and such. She's like, all right, cool. And that was it. I kind of wish that. I, 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 I kind of free reign to do whatever I want. So I just kind of, maybe that's where it came from. I don't know. But yeah, I never really had to lie to my mum. Mm. Do you know what Boy. I mean? For that's... me, have you ever had a big lie and got caught out? You know what? <sighs> the... <laughs> this one is funny. So... Uh, I was seeing this girl and I had her around. This is the time when everyone is supposed to be asleep. So um, <laughs> I, I snuck her in because everyone's asleep. No one's going to be coming downstairs. We're all chilling, uh, and, you know, doing what teenagers do. And, and then um, the lights in the front room came on and I was like, crap. That means they were going to come through the kitchen to get in here. So I had to hide her under the table. I had to hide her under the table and just like clothes, some of the clothes were off as well. So I was like, take your clothes, hide them under the table, hit them under the table. I, <laughs> I'm now just sitting on my chair. Mom comes in through the, through, through the door. And I'm just like, oh, well, mom, what are you doing? Like my child is like halfway down and I'm just sitting on the chair to make sure that like she can't see that they were down. Uh, it was so hard. She just wouldn't leave the room. I'm just like, I was like, is someone here? I'm like, no, no one's here. Everything's fine. Everything's good. Like, yeah. And she's just looking around doing what, and I'm just like, could you please go? And the thing is, yeah, all the clothes were on the, her clothes on the table. And the worst thing was her shoes were still out. And I was like, oh my goodness. But luckily they were converses. So obviously it could have been mine. So eventually my mom leaves the room now. She's now gone upstairs and I'm just like, oh my goodness. So I'm like, the coast is clear, the coast is clear. So she's now putting on the uh, rest of her clothes, putting on her shoes. I'm like, you're going to have to go, but don't go yet. I'm going to see what my mom is doing just in case she's up to something. So I go upstairs and I go into my mom's room and then she moves quickly from the window. And I'm like, why are you moving from the window? Why are you even at the window? And she's like, oh, nothing, nothing, nothing. 
So then I leave the room <laughs> and then she goes back to the window and then I go back into her room and she jumps quickly from the window. And I'm like, oh, for goodness sake, she knows something's up. She knows I'm trying to sneak someone out. So I just had to wait it out, wait out. Then she eventually, I think it was like for about 45 minutes, she kept being at the window and she sat in the dark just to see what was going on. So about 45 minutes, almost an hour later, and uh, bear in mind, the buses were soon going to stop running and she had to get home. And there was no Uber back there. We never had Ubers and all of that. And um, <laughs> she went, my mom went to the toilet. And as soon as she went to the toilet, I dashed downstairs quickly. And I was like, leave your house now. Run, 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 go. And so as soon as my mom went in, she ran out. I made sure I stayed by upstairs to make sure that she didn't come out of the toilet. I was just run. And she, she left the house. And um, uh, I think maybe like, maybe a few weeks or maybe like a month or so later, she came round and she had the same shoes. <laughs> she had the same shoes. <laughs> she had the same shoes on. And then my mom asked me, about, she's like, I saw these shoes, I know they're not yours. Like, what's your, oh my, oh my goodness. <laughs> I had to, uh, luckily it was like <laughs> luckily it was like a family gathering because I had invited her around for the family gathering and I was just like uh, mm -mm, no uh, and luckily you I'm never like, go back to the scene of the crime bro uh, <laughs> I don't know why she had the same shoes mm. you never and go then, back to the scene of the crime I don't know why because it, it was months it was months later so everyone forgot about this and then when yeah. my mom called up on it I was like thank God we were at a family gathering my mom obviously went off and I was like, I brought someone else in the conversation just so I could move on from it. And we never spoke about it again afterwards. But I was like, oh my goodness. I definitely got caught out from that. And I, I think that was it for me. That was that. Oh boy. Yeah. I, got, I got a big one, but I'm going to tell you a little one because time constraint. But, um, <laughs> my a friend of mine, he's, um, his parents had a place in Marble Arch. They had a flat in Marble Arch, and it was a nice, nice flat. And um, his parents were away, so he was like staying there. And we went out for a night, where we met these two girls, whatever, took them back. And we tried to tell the girls that it was his flat, like my friend's flat in Marble Arch. Obviously, we're trying to, like, we're balling or whatever, we got money, very rare, and all these things. So the girls are now in the house, we're getting drinks. And one of the girls decides she wants to be, um, she wants to be fast and start looking around things. And she finds a letter saying to a Miss Valerie XXX. I was like, so whose mail is this? He's like, oh, it's just, you know what I mean? It's just come to the wrong house, isn't it? He's like, so why is there so many of them? So, <laughs> so uh, you know what? Nah, so this is my parents' place, isn't it? This is my parents' place. So, you know, needless to say, they left. <laughs> so, so yeah. you... <laughs> you know. Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> I think I know what Yannicka means now because cause she's not... Because she's not sharing stories, she's people are gonna mm. probably think that she's lying. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know what? Some some people have to be good people. You know, I, I, like, be, I am actually dogs. innocent. Like I actually am. Like not even lying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a good balance. I'm good people now, though. These are all old clubs. Yeah. See, that's the same for <laughs> That's the same butter with the. There we go, Kwame. 20. There we go. What would, <laughs> what would be your stripper slash porn star names? Hypothetical. God. Devil. <laughs> I don't know. You know. Um, I have to have something black. Black something. <laughs> Uh, you know what I mean, <laughs> black something. Um, <laughs> black thunder, I know. Black mamba. <laughs> Isn't that like just the basic name? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the dark destroyer. Or something like that. I'm actually crying. <laughs> <laughs> dark destroyer. The dark destroyer. That's a good one. Mm. I like that. Oh, yeah, that was good. Uh, how am I supposed to know? That's hard. Um, I guess we'd have to create <laughs> black <a name>. pudding. <laughs> black pudding. <laughs> <laughs> I 
got one for you, Javon. Yeah, they've got one for me. I like that. <laughs> Do rag daddy. Do rag daddy. <laughs> well, that sounds like it's it's a porn star, but not in the category. I'm trying to think of one for me because that is hard to like. I can't even think of one. I, 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 this guy says <laughs> that Kwame <laughs> guy is a weird dude. He's a weird dude. <laughs> now nah, you should have seen the questions he was asking. Like, He's a weird dude. The boa constrictor. The boa. <laughs> I like that. That's cool. <laughs> Right, someone in the comments, you're gonna have to make one up for Yannicka because she can't think of one. You know what? People were saying this thing the other day about this girl, and I can't remember what it was, but it was really, really good. And it was called like the ah, oh, summit the tip something. I can't remember what it was. It's about giving head, and I can't, it was sick, but I can't remember what it was. Damn, I wish I knew what it was now. You come with that next week. Here we go. Yeah. Yannicka, the baddest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Can I'm screaming. Can I'm it. screaming. Yan booty. <laughs> I don't even neck. think you even need a strip or a porn star name. Don't people just yeah, go most, by their first and last yeah. name nowadays? Bro? Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually crying. <laughs> Yannicka. <laughs> and uh caramel macbeth <laughs> that's madness that's that about? Uh, i'm actually <laughs> screaming <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> yeah. next question. all right next question next let's move on. thanks kwame all right what really is Wait. funny this one might actually be a long one. We may have to end on this one. <laughs> is love real? And how did you know you are in love? Me, I don't believe in the Hollywood definition of love. To me, it's all about loyalty and commitment. That's what love is to me, not an emotional attachment. Also, I would appreciate a shout out. I just signed my channel. Okay. Well, shout, shout out. out to Chip Talk 2. I'm not sure what your YouTube channel is, but um, check out his YouTube channel. I think he just started. Yeah. So yeah, check that out. <laughs> and is that, chip? is that the actual chip? Like chipmunk? I don't think it's chipmunk, no. <laughs> no okay. Chipmunk wouldn't be asking for a shout out, I can tell you that. <laughs> you know. uh, this King Mabani guy in the comments, just he don't think anyone's going heaven. Well, no, I think Yannick is the only one. I definitely ain't going. <laughs> I definitely ain't going there, I'm telling you that now. I don't even know if I want to go there. What? Man said unconditional love from a mom is real. Yeah. Okay, yes. But I'm guessing he's talking about um yeah, romantic. The yeah, love romantic. between like, you know, yeah. yeah, romantic love. Love is definitely real, man. Definitely. Yeah. And you know, and for me, I'm I'm one of I'm I'm one of those people that some people believe you can only be in love with one person. I don't believe in that. I think, you know, some people say there's one person out there for everyone. I think that there's several people out there for you, but it's just mm -hmm. timing. And when everything comes together, do you know what I mean? I think That's very true. In, in my lifetime, I've probably been in love twice. Do you know what I mean? Uh, a girl who I was with before, and that didn't work out. Um, it's my fault. And the girl who I'm with now. And I think if if I was the person that I was earlier in my life, and I'd have met who I'm with now, it wouldn't have worked out because I wasn't in the in the right place to love someone and to have them love me back. But now, in where I am in my life now. It's the perfect timing. Everything's come together and I've met the right person for me. So I think love is real. And I think you know when you're in love, when that's the first and last thought is that person. And you're willing to do things for that person that might put yourself out, but you're sacrificing mm -hmm. that because you know it will make that person happy. And that makes you happy in turn. So for me, um, I think the Hollywood definition of love isn't true because love is difficult. You have to work at it. It's not something that it, it comes easily, but you also have to you also have to work at maintaining it and growing it. Do you know what I mean? It's not just I'm in love. That's it. I can just stop. Like if you're courting someone at that early stage where you're buying them flowers or you're doing something nice for them, after two years you can't just stop doing those things. 
you know what I mean? You have to continue working on those things. It might not be flowers. It might just be something little like leaving a note saying, oh, I thought you might like this, so I'll go for you. Boom. Those kind of things. And that's for me, that's, that's love, is that you both understand each other at a deeper level than just communicating words verbally. You understand each other in that if I do this, it's going to piss her off. So I'm not going to do it because I don't mm. need to. You know what I mean? Yeah, so I do. That's, that's love. And I think about being loyal and commitment, that's part of it. That's not the be on end all. That's part of it. Because you could be loyal and committed by just staying by their side. But what are you actually doing to uplift them? What are you actually doing to grow as a couple? What are you actually doing to, to experience new things together? That's that's where love comes into it, is that you both want to go on a journey that fulfills your, each other and and you want to see each other win at the end of the day. Just before I say uh, my response to that, um, I just wanted to say, Sam, in the chat, if I did say that you were a guy, sorry, um, <laughs> I, 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 I just guessed and that's wrong. You shouldn't assume. So, Sam, um, I didn't mean anything by it. If, you got offended by it so yeah I'm, I'm just gonna say that but yeah exactly ex I, I will say every, everything that you just said devil is is exactly what a love is I am um, how are they portraying the movies where uh, I, I don't even know how they portray it but how they portray it is for me personally is part of it but it's not all of it they don't show the nitty-gritty oh, of late they, they're starting to show a bit more aspects in my opinion but the real is it's actually down to like like the question says the loyalty, you know what you're willing to do for them. Love isn't like um love love is is an act as well. How an act? What are you gonna do for this other person? Do you feel uh, a way to this person that you're able to do things for them without feeling any type of way? Any type of way? Do you feel how else how else to put it? Do you um Oh, it's actually just gone for me. What is exactly what I was about to say? I'm just gonna say, yeah, but love is all of those things. Like, cause if you just love someone just for their looks, cause you're physically attracted to them, when you get older or something happens or looks goes, if that's what you love them for, that well, I wouldn't say that's a love, but if that's what you you know you went on, that's not love because you know looks go, they fade as you get older, for some races. Um, but um, for some races it, it's a bit quicker than some but um but that's why love is um that's why love is like it says it's it's about what you're willing to do it's in a commitment between two people and if you feel uh, some people can just trigger it like you can be with someone it doesn't mean you love them you may feel like you love them but maybe you're just in love with the sex you're having with them maybe you love their money maybe you just love that it's just an easy target for you I, I i don't know and it? it could be many different things but when you when you're ready to you know put go out of your way for this person and you see yourself doing things that you never would normally do and you're a whole different person in a good way they bring out the best in you then that's how you know when there's there's something good going on here um yeah that's what i'm gonna say yeah yeah i agree i think a lot of people confuse lust with love so they'll mm -hmm. like someone and they'll be like i love them um i think love takes time mm -hmm. like the first person that i would say that i loved like i knew him like obviously i was young when i when i met him and i i didn't love him till like four years later and then i loved him for you know the rest of the time that i knew him until I got over him, obviously. But yeah, <laughs> I think it's one of them things where I think people just get confused. And I think there's a difference between having love for someone and being in love with someone as well. So I think that's just where a lot of people get confused. And that's why they'll say stuff like, I don't know, about like they'll make comments about love. But I agree with you, Tim, what you're saying in terms of what love is and how you'd express that and blah, blah, blah. But I just think some people get a bit confused. Like you get people that are in a relationship for like five minutes and they're like, I love them. And yeah, like, that's definitely lost. You just yeah, like it takes a while, I think. No, you say that, but it's weird because yeah. with my girlfriend now, yeah, like, I knew early 
like how I felt about her. Yeah. And it, it was nuts. Sometimes it just clicks. That, that never, that's never happened to me before. I've, I've been in relationships with girls for months and I'm like, I don't even know if I like you, let alone love you. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But, <laughs> but like with, with the girl I'm with now, like from early, literally like, yeah. I would say six weeks, I was like, I can see myself with this girl. This I like. I love this person. Like this. This is a special, like human being, and I want to spend time with this person. And I knew from early um, that 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 was the case. And that's never really happened to me before. They do like, get even, the guys know like, though very early if they're going to marry the girl. Apparently, they yeah. know. We've. I think it's the first three months the guy knows whether he wants to marry her or not. And yeah. if in that three months he doesn't want to marry her, he's never going to want to marry her. Like that's yeah. what they say about guys. I think girls take a little bit longer. No, um, it's actually yeah. true. That's funny because I don't really like marriage in itself. I haven't got a problem with marriage, but it's not something that I'd, I'd necessarily thought, you know what, I want to get married. Yeah. But I've always said, like, if I end up with a girl and she really wants to get married, I'll do it for her. But it makes no difference for me. It's just a piece of paper saying that you have the certificate now. But for me, I love you. We're committed. I don't need a piece of paper. But if there's something that you really want to do, if there's something that you've had as a dream or whatever, then I'll be willing to do that. It's not a problem. But the thing is, I don't even think it's the... I don't even think it's the certificate. I think it's just about... It's about the the joining, I guess, the union. Uh, you may just, you know, want to be with that person for the rest of your life and you feel like, you know... And like you said, sometimes some people need that, like... Uh, what's I the word I'm looking for? you can do that without for? the ceremony, you know. Uh, no, you know, you... maybe it's just me being stingy because I just don't like the idea of me throwing this big old party for me and then I'm spending money so you people can drink. Ah, but trust me, trust me, Devil. I, That's I, what I, I don't like. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm here for that. I feel that. But Let's just go like registry most... office and get married and done. I think, I some, I think some, people, some people get married out of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, it's, it's like, you, you know you're with someone, you know you're happy with them, you know things, but they do it just because they're just for security, you know. May, what's the word I'm looking for? You know when you're um, in you're fear of something and you're, oh my gosh, the word has gone from me. Insecurity. They're in the insecurities. They feel like maybe they're going to leave. So maybe you feel like you have to get married just to be in the lock. You know, like when the ones there when you, you sleep with a girl and then they get pregnant and they feel like, you're gonna change if you have this kid. Um, it's, it's something like that. I guess it's something along the lines of that. It's just like something they wanna, some people see it as like that anyway, but um, I think it's wrong when you use marriage to <laughs> to hold on to someone. Um, just get married naturally. If you, if the person they want you, they would, like Annika said, like men know within, they just know. <laughs> You know, as, as I said, my thing with marriage is if, really well. if it's really about the marriage, then just have a little thing, registry office, done. Do you know what I mean? Um, mm. My thing is that I know people that have put themselves in some serious debt to show this. And it's like, why? It's just so people could come and drink all your money and then go, oh, that Isn't was a that, great day. And all you've got is a video to show for it and a certificate. You could have just gone and get married. <laughs> gone and get married and said to the people, look, we're married now, innit? Yeah, I if think it's for it's, you, it's for it, you. I think it's the pressure, though. Like, I think, say, for example, it doesn't really as well. happen as much with men, but with, mm. with women. Like, if your best friend has, like, a massive wedding and it's amazing, a lot of people feel like they then have to have a massive wedding, which yeah. is amazing. Like, it's, it's very competitive. And yeah. I think that's mm. why weddings are so... Because for me, like, I don't see the point in spending thousands of pounds on flowers. Because mm -hmm. I don't even like flowers. <laughs> yeah, but people have it, and it's part of your wedding, so mm -hmm. people will have it. Um, but you can do weddings cheaper than people make out. Like you can get a dress for a couple of hundred quid if you want. Like Jeremy, you, know I mean? you don't have to go mm -hmm. and spend two grand. So there's ways of doing it, but I think it's just competitive. It's like birthday parties and baby yeah. showers and everything else. It's all <clears throat> competitive nowadays. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. You know what's real? You know what it is? It's the it's, especially it's the gender reveals now. That's 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 the new things as oh, well. Yeah. And they yeah. just they've just gone they've gone insane. The things that I've yeah. seen. They started off normally, you know, you can cut a cake and that, but the what I'm seeing now is madness, madness. Yeah. Yeah, I think things like um like marriage is because my sister's gonna get married. Well, she was supposed to get married this year, but obviously because of COVID, she had to she had to cancel it. Um, cancel. 
but she like obviously she was having a baby so she wants because she had a kid from a previous relationship she wants them all to have the same surname so what she's going to do is get married and then her husband is going to adopt my niece so that's mm -hmm. what they're going to do so it's stuff like that it kind of like i do like the idea of marriage um mm. but i don't agree with putting yourself in debt for years over it like mm. if you can't afford it just go abroad caribbean hotel <coughs> they do it all for you and it's not <laughs> that expensive and then if people want to come, you invite everyone whoever wants to come pays for their flight the hotel's yeah. already there then i disagree with that I don't like people getting married and then expecting me to pay my own money to go see them get married. Why am I paying money to go elsewhere because you love your, your partner? No, you have you get married here, then I can come if I can afford to come. Don't make me fly, don't make me fly to the south of France to go see you say I do. If you want me to be there, pay for me to be there. I don't agree with that. Well, some people do. <laughs> Do some do people do and then that's that's they yeah. just get so don't worse, do that man. at all that vexes me <laughs> don't even invite me if that's the case <laughs> <laughs> i don't care if i'm related to you i ain't going <laughs> but yeah that is all i think we have time for today guys i think devil has to head off and yeah. there's a few yeah it's, it's gonna be hard to get through everyone's questions but just send us your questions in but um, yeah, before you head off, make sure, you know, once again, you subscribe to the channel. Just to also note the It's All Mad podcast, um, the It's All Mad podcast in, oh my gosh, what am I saying? So the Dead Dugout show that we do on the Football Dugout, it doesn't go onto the Football Dugout podcast section because we, that is all tagged up and it's mainly football. So obviously it goes to a football audience and it'll be pointless to put this in that so there is a separate podcast that i run called it's all mad and this is the segment that we do called dead dugout and that will be on the that podcast all the links will be in the description when i post up all these videos over the next week the links will be there so go and subscribe to that i know you've got to subscribe to our spotify and Apple Music for Football Dugout. So now go and subscribe to this because there, there'll be times when I'll be doing podcasts that will be just recorded and it'll just be um, straight audio. It won't be on YouTube and it'll probably be cutouts on YouTube. So make sure you just go once again, subscribe there. Make sure help us to get to our 1,000th subscriber. We're almost there. I think we're like, how much? Okay. Off? Maybe like 80 off. Yeah, I think less 80. than that now. Like 80 off. So, yeah, make sure if you haven't subscribed, I know pretty much I'm sure everyone here has subscribed, but if you haven't, go over and subscribe. Sam has asked, when do we tweet questions? You can tweet questions anytime um, from today. You can tweet. You can tweet on the day. Just use the hashtag. If you don't do it on the Tuesday when we make the tweet, just do it. Um, just make sure you put the hashtag there, Doug, out and we'll because that's what we search as well. So we'll see any of those questions too so yeah just make sure yeah you do that devil is doing his bundesliga show tomorrow from seven so make sure you tune yeah, in yeah, yeah. Got a mid-season sure mid -season awards show since there's no fixtures because of the winter break so we're going to be talking about who uh, we believe uh, is the best young player best breakthrough best match best kit worst kit all sorts of things best uh Bundesliga 11. We're going to do all of that kind of stuff. So join us tomorrow right here on the Football Dugout at 7 p.m. Yep. And also make sure you check out Yenika. You can follow her on Twitter. Her Twitter is on screen and also in the description. She started her YouTube channel, but I'm not entirely sure if she's doing videos on there. I see her on every other platform yeah. but her mm. own channel. Um, so <laughs> make sure you go and subscribe to her YouTube anyway. I'm sure she's got things planned uh, and then she will drop those videos. <laughs> And um, yeah, thanks for tuning in today. Um, we'll see you all next week and on other other shows. Peace.